Welcome to Jurassic Park. It's a barn. It's it's a barn filled with clouds of animal shit. Welcome to the <laughs> Welcome to the adventures of Robo Father and his many little rim rims. I have been praying and hoping and wanting for the best part of a week now to get a little gorilla. A little gorilla to bring about the third and final step of our three-part operation. Step one was making sure we could actually operate on animals. Did that like the second episode in when we gave a polar bear a golden eye. Because of course you would. A couple of episodes ago, step two, we could weaponize animals. We gave a baboon minigun hands. Step three today... The final project, where we make the ultimate killing machine. We have, somewhere in this mess, a gorilla. Um, someone spotted it yesterday. They were like, oh, did you know, 41 minutes into the video, there's a gorilla. And I was like, I, I couldn't fucking see it. But I'm going to take their word for it. And I hope there is actually, somewhere in here, a gorilla. Um, oh my god, it's not even... Can I not sort it? Or, uh, uh. <laughs> Why would you want to sort things alphabetically, huh? Brilliant. Um, there it is, gorilla one. Oh, my friend. Now, the question is, can we operate on its arms? Gorillas have arms. Gorillas do indeed have arms. Confirmed. You're welcome. I'm basically Jane... Oh, I've forgotten her name now. How the fuck do you forget her name? Jane Goodall. That's it. I'm basically Jane Goodall, but of the gorilla world rather than the chimp world. Although I think Joe Rogan's got that one. So we are going to try and, uh, uh, and and use all of the... Bear in mind, we did a shitload of research yesterday into all the missing bionics, the networked bionics. Basically got everything ticked off. Apparently I miss resource plants. I guess that's not massively relevant, is it? We've got all of the pre space tech research finished. Now we can start heading up into the more complex stuff. And then after that, we've got, like, obviously the Ultra Tech and then eventually the Arco Tech stuff. We are getting there. This may be the first ever series where we finish the research tree, but it, it, it's not so bad now that we've got a research table that gives, I don't know, like 5,000% research. So we're doing pretty good in that regard. Let's see what we can do with him. Because obviously we've unlocked a lot more limbs. We've got all sorts of ridiculously overpowered shit. What I might even want to do is... Can we build a fabrication bench out of other materials? I don't think you can, can you? I was going to say we'll build a fabrication bench out of cosmic alloy. Um, it's only certain... Where the fuck is production? Why is this not alphabetical either? Right, okay. Um... No, we can't. I was testing out a few different ones, but I didn't think I ever actually tested. Oh, wait. That's research bench, you fool. Uh, where is it? Fabrication bench. No, unfortunately not. I was going to say we might be able to swap that over. Now, we can use Glitter Tech, of course, to hook into that. We could download the recipes as well into an automatic assembler. But to be honest, it would take ages to do that. To download the Arcotech limbs into one of the data disks it was like 1,200 work per body part. So it was easier just to keep these around and obviously have some Omnibots do it. That is a situation where Omnibots make more sense than the assemblers. Otherwise, we'd genuinely take about 10 episodes just to download the recipes. So why don't we take a look at actually what we've got here. Oh, we've got to build a Love Enhancer. We've got to build a Love Enhancer, right? That's the first thing on the menu. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got Adrenaline Ribs. Replace all of its ribs with Adrenaline. You need Yayo for that, do you not? Or Psycho Leaves? Guess what we have a shitload of. That's right. Uh, it is. It's 10 Yayo. You all laughed at me. Why is he wasting his time building a vault of gold filled with cocaine? You all laugh at me. Now we've got a coked up... <laughs> we've got a coked up gorilla. We're going to send it our tribal raiders. <laughs> this is the most fucked up thing we've ever done. Wow, I don't know what half of this shit is. Thermo control blood replacement. We can change its blood. Oh, what the fuck? That's crazy. Energy max blood replacement. Synth blood, blood replacement. This is cool. We've got all the network uh, components as well. So you have to be within range of a network packet router to be able to, to as, as far as I know, for these things to be active. It would be better to go down the Arcotech route. This might be better for Robo Daddy. He's going to spend all of his time in a lab. We can hook him up into the system. And he can be, I think we've done this multiple series now. Uh, he could be our emperor of mankind running the base from, from within. That'd be kind of fun. Um, so, wow, these are really cool. What's NSE? Oh, nervous system enhancement. This is fucked. Uh, Soothe Aura, we got, we got full skin replacements there. Now, I also said I'd research some better rifles for when Robo Mummy 2.0 is born. So we've got an antimatter rifle, antimatter sniper rifle. Uh, there is much better technology than that still waiting for us. It's going to take a while to get there, though. This is insane. There's some really cool stuff here. Like, blood replacement is a really cool idea for um, bionics modules, isn't it? And then, of course, we've got all of those ones. The machining table, I assume, has some as well. We do. Jesus. This is going to take a long time to obviously get the perfect combination of monkey. Might need me to do a little bit of planning between episodes, to be honest with you. Because we've also got some other Bionics work tables as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, somewhere in this list. We've got like a tissue printer there. There's, there's some other ones kicking around. Shit, this is going to take a while. Um, 
We will stick to using, I think, predominantly the Arco tech components. Oh, man, look at this. We've got, like, advanced farmer AI. We could get an upgrade for Voitech. Holy shit. <laughs> Antitoxin kidney. This is insane. Okay, that gorilla, that poor fucking gorilla. So what we'll do is we'll take the animal bed out of the... Uh, for whatever reason, they're putting multiple animals in the same bed. Like, we can, we can stack them up. No wonder there is an animal bed somewhere, but I can't apparently click on it, because when I double-click on the scyther, it selects all the other scythes and resets the menu. There is an animal bed in there somewhere. I think it probably needs to just go and install it and then reinstall it somewhere else. Or, or not. I've already, I've already done that. We definitely built a cosmic weave animal bed, but fuck knows where it's gone. Whatever. We'll put it down in, like, um... We'll, we'll put it down in here. I think that probably makes the most sense. We'll see what else we can do to help buff up the animal surgery success chance. Now, one thing we've done, of course, is build the tier 5 robots. So we've got a tier 5 ER bot there. Um, we've got some tier 5 hauling bots coming in, building bots. I've, I've queued up the production. We've got a dearth of gold right now. No, dearth. No, we've got the opposite of a dearth. We've got a scarcity of gold right now. Um, so we haven't got enough components to actually build the tier 5 crafting bots or whatever else. So that will come next. What I've also done is, is someone left a comment yesterday saying that apparently the power integrators are a percentage. So it's like, I don't know, say it's 2%. I don't know exactly what it is there. Um, doesn't even say the power output, right? Oh, 6,000 watts per integrator. Wow, that's fucking insane. Yeah, so it takes a percentage of what the nuclear reactor makes and then regenerates it. So I've started hooking up power generators to all of the significant machinery. So we've got those ones. I think I tried it up here. I don't know if these are actually working, though. Oh, I didn't connect them to a hub. But that's going to be... I mean, thousands, tens of thousands of watts, and then also hooking up to this one as well. We're probably never going to need more power again. I'm still going to build the power generating facilities because they kind of look cool, in my opinion. Um, we've got three hours left. The other thing I did as well, someone pointed this out, that we can actually make cosmic forges out of cosmic alloy. Makes no fucking sense, but it does give 200% bonus to the work speed for 300% total. So these things, we can just kind of blink and they're completed. So that's pretty fantastic. Let's get down the cosmic weave bed then. We'll build a second one, because why not? We'll limit the gorilla to this room, and we'll give it its own kibble supply. I feel like it deserves it, seeing as it's the final... It's kind of the final step in our animal... Mmm. In our... <laughs> Don't worry about this. This is irrelevant. It's the final step in in, in, in our um, animal animal surgery, right? So I think he deserves he deserves some credit there. You know, I'm going to put it fucking... I'm going to put it right fucking there. I'm going to put it right there. Some other things I've tried messing around with. I've tried hooking up work speed integrators to the plasma drills. Now, the work speed integrators, the way they work is they give a work speed bonus to an operatable machine. So the deep drill works fine. That's gaining a work speed bonus. 62% um, obviously per, so we're going much, much faster. Just as a way to get some extra gold with our mining bots or our omnibot there is doing it instead. It's very much not fast. Very much not fast. You know what I meant. It's not very fast at all. Um, it, it's it's like 10 gold occasionally, so it's not fantastic. But it's better than nothing. And then we can also, again, hook this up to... Is that connected? It will be in a second. Let's go and connect this one. I'm interested to see how much extra power we can get out of our antimatter reactor just by getting it to the Glutonet. Now, how much of the network have we used up in terms of capacity here? 28 out of 76. That's actually a lot. We, I, I think I went kind of overkill, I will admit, on the Glutonet process. It's the fact that we've got, like, cosmic forges, nuclear reactors hooked up to that to, to the highest degree as well. Obviously, we've got three of each one. That's pretty nuts. Okay, gl Glutonet has, has won me over. The other thing that bears mentioning, too, of course, is that we've got two hours before the next raid turns up. This is on maximum difficulty. We've given it all the points possible in wave-based survival. We're on Merciless. We cannot increase the game's difficulty any further except for mods in this situation. Now, there were some comments suggesting what to do. Some people... Someone said uh, that the Polaris Block Federation uh, faction is pretty good at dealing with kill boxes. There's um, minor mods, like, uh, obviously, you guys have probably known as the guy that makes the Zombie Land mod, but also makes Actung and the, ca the camera mod. You know, a lot of mods that I feature in basically every single series also made a mod that makes Raiders a lot smarter, so they'll avoid... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was the same guy. I'm probably wrong now that I've said that. I said it with such confidence, but I'm not entirely sure. But it makes them avoid kill boxes, essentially. Uh, they will start digging through walls. They, they will still go through kill boxes, but they'll avoid traps and... Seemingly kind of obvious routes. You might get some coming through the kill box, some taking alternate routes. Adds a lot of extra difficulties to the game. I have a plan for that mod for a future series that I won't spoil. Um, so I, I want to focus on just the kind of base Rimworld faction difficulty. Void faction that I kind of floated the idea of yesterday very briefly. A lot of people said that is, like, if you install that, prepare to lose. So I think that'll maybe something we'll do as the final thing for this series. Now, this is what I wanted to see. We've got Division H, which is obviously our Ultra Tech faction with their Void Armor and whatnot. Um, and apparently a pet tortoise. Okay. These other guys I really want to test it out against, because I believe they're the strongest faction on the map, correct? Um, besides Blue Moon and maybe the Borg, but we haven't seen the Borg in ages, which makes it makes it kind of imply that maybe the Borg are a little bugged out. 
Like, it's got the colony wealth wrong. Like, it thinks they're really cheap, which is what we got them in during the early game. But now we're in really late game. We're not getting any at all. Um, the Blue Moon Corporation might be as strong as these guys. It's kind of hard to say. Go on, then. Let's see what you've got. Bring it. The game would wake up. Oh, are my auto mortars on? I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to turn them off for this raid. And then we'll turn them on for the next raid. Compare the two. See how much the auto mortars are actually... Oh, fuck. Why did you do that? We're going to turn them off. They're already off, you fool. Okay. Um, I don't think many of those shells are going to hit anyway. No, luckily they didn't. What did we kill there? Like, ten dudes? Nine dudes? Okay, that's not too bad. It's not quite ruined the experiment. Although, if the experiment is to see can we repel the raid, I guess the answer is almost decisively yes with that. Oh, seriously? So even if you've got incapacitated animals, if there's a bed anywhere, they'll just fucking haul them there, even if it's outside the area. Let's just put down sleeping spots. Can I reserve it for the for the gorilla, maybe? God, this is this is fucking annoying. It's too many animals. It's too many animals. I'm, I'm going to start butchering them all. Like I said, duplicates. I'm happy to butcher, and any non-reserved animal by tomorrow, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cull them dead. Little mechanoid army. Wow, look at them go. Holy shit, we've got a lot of them. We've got those Cutrum drones as well this time, so we'll sort of see what they've got in store for us. Now our walls were never completed. We didn't have enough hyper alloy, because I think I ended up having to turn the machines off. Because of lack of power or lack of... Oh, it's lack of resources. Damn. So we're not producing enough antimatter to fuel all of these things. And we don't have enough plasteel either. Really? We might have to put down some more plasma drills. So I've started building a new area over here to mirror this side. We could fill this with plasma drills instead. And uh, and have maybe two drills focusing on plasteel, two drills focusing on gold, two drills focusing on steel. And kind of divide it a little bit rather than having all the drills do everything in a set order. Here it goes. Oh, fuck. If the wall gets broken, I'm absolutely turning on the auto mortars again. I think that's fair at that point. What the hell are the rest of the chaperone mines doing? Sleeping, apparently. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, we're fine. These haven't had resources delivered that are now being destroyed. No, they're just blueprints. Okay, that's good. I was going to say, I imagine they'd have probably finished off the, the walls if they did have the resources delivered to them at this point. Why are they all kind of bugging out? They kind of stop. It's like they require a target, and then they have to... Have to stop to reset themselves. I want to see what these things do. The Cutrum drones. Because they're the only things we haven't quite seen yet in, in pure combat. I really care about every chaperone mine dying. Thank you. Bro, what are we looking at? Yeah. I mean, I still feel like we're... Oh, that's new. Is that guy in cataphract armor? Heavy marine armor. Oh, interesting. I don't think they can get many more upgrades than they've already got. Although that guy's turned up with a fucking plasma gun. Those things were ridiculous, weren't they? Uh, Okay. They might have gotten slightly stronger. It's very difficult to tell. You'd assume Void Armor would be the highest against <laughs> Boy's Katana Collection. Thank you for that. They just seem a little disappointing. Yeah. They're just they're just the robots with the um, the very, very fast firing rifle. But they don't do a, a, a massive amount of damage. This guy hasn't even got a shield broken yet. Okay, interesting. And bear in mind, this is a lot of saving up of these mechanoids too. This has been like multiple... I, I mean, I, th I think this is multiple raids of... Mechanoids, bear in mind, the door was locked. Man, that's a little disappointing. The, 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 the spawners, they seem so overpowered because it's like free mechanoids on demand. And then they've ended up just getting absolutely wiped out. I think, to be honest, Division H might be dr bringing down the difficulty. Because if we had a pirate band, I talked about this obviously briefly yesterday, but if we had a pirate band with doomsday rocket launchers, triple rocket launchers, single rocket launchers, grenades, explosives, whatever, this would be a different, this would be a different game right now. Like, w w our kill box would just get, would just get shredded. I mean, these guys have the bonus of smoke pop belts, right? But past the first sort of few steps, it doesn't really make too much difference. Especially when this thing kicks in. I do love these antimatter guns. They are quite fun. It can't even fire. It can't even fire. They're dying too fast. Oh, there we go. At long last. And they're all dead. Okay. Um. Man, I mean, what do we do? We, we, these, these turrets are just too fucking strong. <laughs> I ain't no bitch. You goddamn right, faction void installation completed. Let's do it. There's no point in having the most overpowered, crazy strong base if we haven't got an overpowered, crazy strong, poorly balanced faction mod to challenge us. I want to I wanna see how we can hold out. Because right now, these guys didn't even land a scratch on us. We blew up our own walls, and that was the extent of the damage. I'm cranking it up. We need something. That, the, the, the issue is, it, the way it is right now... We spent all this time researching bionics, getting all these fucking labs up together, doing all this crazy shit to be able to make the ultimate weapon in the form of a mighty gorilla. Obviously, it wasn't the original game plan. I am still going to build the nuclear uh, the, the nuclear factory at some stage. But we haven't got anything to fight with the gorilla. 
because they're all dead by the time they hit the kill box. Before I get accused of any more severe war crimes, like significant war crimes, for example, keeping Wojtek and all our other pets inside this fucking mess, I have brought them back inside the area. So we got Horn back, we have Wojtek back, Wyclaw and all your other favorites are allowed to roam free within this tiny, confining little space. As free as they could ever hope to be. But how much are these producing 31,000 watts each? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we get a free 31,000 watts just for just for putting down a little power net into grid. What about these things? These are 37,000 watts. Sweet Jesus. And what's our grid access now? Oh, only 258,000 watts. Yeah, we're never going to need to worry about power again. I, I will still build some of the stuff because, again, it's, it's quite cool to add that to our big fuck-off ever-growing lab. But... Man, we, we, I just don't even know what to do with all of this power. Like, there's nothing that directly can turn power into a thing. Thanks, Einstein. Very cool. Uh, what have we got in terms of research, then? Because we, we've not really been doing much. I've just had Robo Daddy kind of helping out, doing whatever we can around the base. We've got the Architect Project. So the Architect Project is actually a game-ending thing that we've never done before. Despite the fact that we've had Gene Tech a couple of times, we never got around to building the big fuck-off Architect Centipede, which is the... Uh, it's like a game-winning event. That might be worth keeping around. Uh, for the time being, I guess we'll just go for the, the, the prerequisites. And then we'll forget about the Arco set project. And I'll just, just, just fucking go down. We'll just go down and, and get everything finished. Oh, there we go. Combat made uniform. Oh my god, there's still more bionics. There is more bionics. Oh, I thought we were done. Shit. Okay. Um, obviously, it's not, a, it's not a problem at all. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm more than fine with that. Psychic equipment, psychic weapons as well. Now, somebody said that we should have access to Psychic Storm. Um, that, that's kind of the ultimate power from Psytech. But the issue is, I think where Robo Daddy is incapable of violent, unsurprisingly, it means that he can't do violence. I don't know why I'm so surprised in hindsight. Um, but unfortunately, it does mean that I think he's still, even with all the Psychic abilities, going to be fairly anemic. Um, let me just take a look again. Yes, yeah, so we've got Mind Fortress Transcendent Defense. We don't have Psy Storm anywhere. But I'm pr almost certain we have it researched. I think if I just type in storm. Size storm. Yeah, we've got it researched. I think it is where he's incapable of violent. We, we can't give him that ability. I thought it'd be a way around. So right now he's just like the most zen war crimes committing character ever. Uh, serenity, focus, precision. He's just in this, this absolute zen state constantly as gorilla screams echo through the corridors. Speaking of which, fuck off. Get this fucking thing out of here. Shut down and disassemble. I've given the gorilla his own room. Uh, we're going to now go through and just kind of see what we want to give this guy, right? We, we want to see what we can. With more research to go, it's a little bit annoying. We are still a little bit limited. Well, we've got... Never mind. It's okay. We've got the love enhanced. We'll get that installed first and foremost. Drill arms? I feel like those would be better to give to the mandrill, wouldn't they? Because then we could call him mandrill. That's much better. We've got circadian assistance so our gorilla can stay awake for longer. <laughs> Brilliant. I think the Arcos tech stuff is really the way forward. So let's get two Architect legs queued up. I think we should anyway. Yeah, we've already got two Architect legs. Let's get two Architect eyes queued up. We'll just get all the kind of main... Your main limbs dealt with. There might be better options than the lungs, the kidneys, the livers, the ears. So I want to make some of these. We'll just go for the the legs and the arms. Even, even then, I think they're probably better ones than the eyes as well. Um, Architect shoulder. Hang on, is that better than Architect arm? That might be the case that that gives us an arm module. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is going to get fairly confusing. Yeah, there is an arm module, unfortunately. Right, so we want to not build the arm. I assume Architect leg is as high as you can get, unless you can make like a fucking Architect pelvis. Oh, you actually can? <laughs> so you're telling me there's a leg module as well, then? There's no leg module. Okay, that's a bone replacement rather than a full, like, pelvic replacement. Fine. Um, so we've got two Architect legs, and then we need the shoulders, which I assume the arms go into. So anything that's not a module is what we want to build, essentially. Um... Oh, this is such a confusing mod. It's just, it's not a confusing mod, obviously. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Hand slots into arm that slots into shoulder, but you have to kind of work backwards for it all. It's it's quite a lot to remember. Um, Femus to his toes. Yeah, okay. We give him power arms instead. Or power claws. No, I'd rather give him power arms. I feel like I feel like Gorilla is more for like tearing and, and smashing more than more than ripping and slicing. But revenge the base a little bit to account for the ridiculous amount of bills that we're gonna queue up, because again, the assemblers are gonna take way too long to actually install the bills into. So I've redone the workroom based on only the things that we really need at this point in the game. So we've got a machining table, a large machining table, and the fabrication bench. Both of the little additional cabinets that connect up to those, and then obviously the full array of linkables there as well. So what are we looking at in terms of work speed then? Pretty much we can only build these out still. So 418%. That's a little disappointing, to be honest. 
to say that we've got all this extra shit. 368% on the fabrication bench. Whatever. It, it's not going to take that long anyway, because of course we haven't got too many components to make with specifically these ones. Unfortunately, these benches can't connect up to the linkables. So I'm going to have to uh, attach three of the Glitternet interfaces to each one. So let's do that very, very quickly, because I think these are definitely going to take the longest to craft. Do something like that. Um, this thing, was there anything on this thing that we were interested in? Endoskeleton Stimulator might not be too bad. Uh, what is that installed into? That's a torso? I guess we can make one, and then why don't we just make everything that seems like it could be useful here? So things like the advanced melee platforms. We might not be able to install it into the gorilla, or I assume we could, because surely any human surgery we can also fit into this guy. Um, oh, good. Good, it's nice to see that... <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see that that's installed. This is getting very I have no mouth and I must scream, isn't it? Wow. Um, we've got the exoskeleton tool. So what we'll do is we'll wait till everything to be crafted. Then we'll see which ones are compatible. And then decide which kind of permutation we want out of that. We've still got a little bit more with regards to research doing to prosthetics, right? Um, no way, has he finished all that already? Good God, that was two days. It took me two days to get all this other stuff kind of rearranged a little bit there. Yeah, he's actually finished it. That's madness. This, 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 this man is a, it's a research god. This is all of the uh, mechanoid hacking stuff. So we'll keep that on the back burner for a while until we've dealt with... Uh, and until we've finished off with the gorilla here. What have we got over here? Packet routers? Oh, right, here we are. So look, we've got a couple of other ones. Those are the royalty ones that obviously we don't have the tech prints for. So we've got the wireless implants there. And that's really it, huh? Even the space attack we don't... We, we're only on... Sorry, that's ultra attack. We've got, we, we're on the last couple of Ultra Tech here, and then we're on to Arco Tech. Wow. Let's go for Cosmic Weapons, Cosmic Armor, Cosmic Hydroponics, Cosmic Flooring. Fuck it. What I want to do is, because we've got so much demand for gold right now, all of these implants are using several hundred gold. The robotics cores are using hundreds of gold apiece. I want to put down a few more plasma drills, specifically maybe four dedicated to just gold mining right now. So we could, uh, we, we could oscillate them. So that we can fit all of them into the smallest zone possible. Which was, I don't think we can fit the same design over on this side, can we? Uh, not unless I... Oh, hang on. We can just... I don't know if that's better or worse than having it just spread out in the other way. Obviously, obviously the real benefit to doing this would be we could put another one there and then fit one between. Um... Yeah, I think I prefer the other design. Just because just it means that we've got a bit more of maneuverability if we need to lay, like, cables or whatever else. So we'll do the same as what we've got going on in this room. If we use an oscillating design all the way up, we could fit, I think, genuinely about 50, 60 plasma drills in here. Might be a little bit overkill. I, I think that it's maybe slightly too much. We're going to end up flooding ourselves with wealth doing it that way. Let's go ahead and just blueprint what we've got over here. I, I, I think this is kind of the simplest design. Again, let's our bots get in there and uh, reassess things if we need to. So we'll do something like that. Gives us a block on either side to allow the bots to move around as well. And then we'll just throw in a couple of these right around this side. Oh, yeah, look, that actually kind of fits perfectly. Gives us plenty of movement space as well. That's still a kind of a ridiculous amount of... Um, it's kind of a ridiculous amount of plasma drills, I will admit. What is that in total? Uh, 36. Is that too many? No, it's fine. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Finished cosmic weaponization, but I can't find the crafting table where you, where you actually craft the cosmic weapons. You'd assume it would be at the cosmic forge, right? Apparently not. Um, it's not just a regular machining table, is it? Uh, Antimatter grenade launcher also. Can't oh, there it is. Cosmic pistol. Oh, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Just at the machining table, you know how it be uh, with your with your night vision goggles and your bulletproof vests. Also, a cosmic rifle, fully automatic rifle that propels plasma at extreme velocities without reducing any recoil whatsoever. Oh, um, fire rate is more. So, so should we make ourselves a cosmic rifle? I feel like that's probably a step up from the antimatter rifle, isn't it? We'll give that to Robo Mummy when she's complete. What is that? Seventy nine percent. I'd love to get her a full set of the cosmic armor as well, which isn't going to take too long to finish. There, that I assume is the best gear we can make. Now, bear in mind, that's just the surface of this mod. It goes on for a very, very long time with some of the research uh, costing 375,000 points. So, at uh, the rate we're going, to be fair, that's like, what, one episode? One hour before we find out whether or not this new faction will raid us. And Alpha Beaver is pregnant. Oh, for fuck's sake, we need to slay these animals. How long have we got? 83%. We're not going to see it before the end today, I'm afraid. We've kind of gone a little bit backed up here on... No components. Obviously, I'm trying to build about 50 different things at once here. We haven't got enough components for all of the different drills. I've, I've forbidden half it. To be honest, I think we'll go ahead and forbid that entire 
entire section and leave just the top eight for the time being. I had set up some new bills for, for smaller amounts of components, things like that, because we just don't have the resource influx right now, particularly when we're also building cosmic weapons, cosmic armor, implants for a robo murder gorilla. It's just too much. Besides, we've got we've got bigger thing, things to focus on, and that might be the void faction coming in a second. And apparently, oh my god, our turrets are broken down. Here we go. Oh god, Rimworld by Ludion Studios is not responding. Division H. That's fine. Division H again. Where are they? <gasps> there they are. Oh my god, I thought it was a drop pod raid. What the fuck is even that? Uh, Sakicho Photoshop. What are, what are you wearing? Uh, oh, it's a hazmat mask. I thought that was some fancy new type of armor. They've got a Kraken. I did say a couple of episodes ago it'd be nice if we could have a Kraken or a Goliath or something to uh, test out some of the mechanoid what the hack mod segments on. Oh, God, it's not happy. I'm still genuinely surprised it's that small a raid, given that we've cranked the difficulty. Like I said, the, the difficulty can't get any higher at this point. I'm surprised that's it. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm not even going to send out the mechanoids. I'm not going to send out the... Oh, shit, the Omnibot. I'm not going to send out the mortar shells or anything. We'll just we'll just see how it is. I think the, the truth of it is, even with these modded factions added by the monster, add the overpowered stuff, we're still outpacing them. We're, we're, we're still outpacing them by a, by a ridiculous degree. Go on. Let's, is this maximum speed? Yeah, that's maximum possible speed. We'll see how we do. Oh, my fucking builder bot, you prick. The only counter they'll have to us are smoke pot belts with a combination of rocket launchers, which, again, these guys don't have. We need the pirates to turn up. I think even the tribal raiders gave us a bit more of a challenge. Although, look at this. They are getting pretty close. I've underestimated them a little bit here. They're getting pretty close right now. That's a bit concerning. Bear in mind, the turrets are still just made of steel. So if they can shoot, if they if they get a, a few lucky shots through these embrasures, we'll, we'll have something to worry about there. The blast turrets are really laying down a number, aren't they? My god. Wait, chaperone mine? Wait, was that one of our chaperone mines? Our chaperone mines are locked away, so I don't know where the fuck that came from. Might be the enemy one blowing them up, but of course we wouldn't be notified about that. Blast turrets are really laying down the damage there. Honestly, I think the blast turrets might be the most powerful turrets we've got. They're just fucking insane. And there we go. Those guys got the furthest, but to be fair, the... Uh, hello? <laughs> um, I was going to say the antimatter turret was turned off. Turns out there was no antimatter turret. Silly me, I forgot. They don't exist. Um, weird. The cool thing is, look, the Kraken is... Oh, the Kraken... Sorry, I thought the Kraken was knocked down but still alive. Well, that's not what we wanted. It's not what we wanted at all. We've done it. On the plus side, we can restock the prison. That's that's the most prison I think, I think we've seen for a while. Without the mortars and without the antimatter turret, sure, they get pretty decent far, but you kind of expect that the turret, that the, the mod that adds the antimatter turrets would add a faction capable of, of course, countering or at least being able to contend with the antimatter turrets. Obviously not quite the case. So we'll see if that void faction turns up. I might even use faction control to limit who can and cannot raid us at this point. Division H is still fine. Obviously, they, 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 they do a pretty decent job, but there's no reason we couldn't have, say, rather than sinking my resources into reactors we don't need, we could have sunk the, the resources into making turrets out of hyper-alloy, and then we would be quite literally unstoppable. So if you really optimized, rather than what we're doing, which is pulling the arms off of monkeys, if you were f <laughs> optimized in playing with this mod pack, you'd be unstoppable. You, you would absolutely be unstoppable. I thought I'd ever see that happen, where we finished more or less all the research in the game. Uh, at least all the stuff that's obviously not locked off. A lot of this, the artificial metabolism, the, the neural computation, whatever. It's all behind tech prints. Um, and some of it is Borg technology that we don't have access to. We've got the Arcotech stuff to finish the genetics mod. Uh, besides that, it's quite literally just what the heck and then the science project. So I guess we'll just go ahead and whack out all the what the heck stuff. See if we can hopefully eventually capture a Kraken or a Goliath or something like that and turn those into an ultimate killing machine to go along with our our horde of monkeys that we've got and then we're good then we can then we can just go through this this crazy cosmic research and and end up with the with the insane shit now bear in mind that's all also going to have a, a sort of hard limit on it from the fact that we haven't got enough tech prints for this one either beyond our understanding so i think i should probably keep on top of calling in the exotic goods traders. The only reason I stopped doing it is because we didn't have any silver. But I've since, for fairly obvious reasons, stopped tithing animals and went back to pure profit. So we should have enough money now to be able to call in uh, call in some more allied exotic goods traders and basically trade with any exotic goods trip that we can. Uh, request a trade gamma and let's go exotic again. Now, last time they turned up with three different ones. We only need, what, another, another five, I think it was? 
So by then, we could probably get all of this research done and the other cosmic stuff. It's eight dedicated plasma drills to just purely gold production at this stage. I can't believe that gold of all the things... Oh, there we go. Gold of all the things was our limiting factor. Gold and silver to some extent. But obviously, now that we're, again, that we're tithing things, it's not such a big deal. What was going on there? Why have they been dumped in that one? Uh, Well, that's output. Oh, shit. You fool. <laughs> that's supposed to be input, right? Because they can... Oh, no, no. What the fuck have I done there? Oh, shit. Because they can't go on diagonals, can they? Can search ingredients for that. Oh, no, that should be working fine. Is the machine full? No? I'm not entirely sure why that's not being taken back into the machine. Doesn't allow... Pterosaur skin. Maybe that's where I added the dinosaur mod mi midway through as kind of a surprise we have dinosaurs now type of thing. Um, guess we'll just go back to allow all. I can't think of any downside to it. It's uh, manufactures, isn't it? And then textiles. Right, let's try it now. Has that really backed up our entire production sequence? Just that by itself? Fuck. Well, that's that done, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe how ridiculous that cosmic research bench is. It's been a complete game changer. Let's go for it. So this unlocks cosmic theory that gives us draw cosmic matter. Okay, cosmic draw. That's where you keep your cosmic clothes, I assume. Uh, this is probably an upgrade of cosmic alloy, you'd have to guess. And then we've got hydroponics generation 2, arcane flooring, power generation level 2, armor level 2, and super weapons. Hello. Cosmic lance. Say no more. Let's get those two to start off with. I'm not going to bother so much with the hydroponics and the flooring. Then we'll go for reaching the... Oh, you have to... Of course, you have to research all of them anyway. Then we're stuck. Then we're at the beyond our understanding kind of hard limit there. I might build some more forges, especially as we're trying to redo, you know, the entirety of the outside of the base there. This kind of is a little bit slower than I expected. I said we get two walls done before we went to the others. We haven't even finished that yet. I thought that's what that said. Crafting Bot 116 has created a Cosmic Rifle Masterwork. How much fucking damage is that thing going to do? Uh, Cosmic Rifle Masterwork does... <laughs> of course it would. Oh my god, the accuracy is insane on it as well. 100% accurate, except at long range, at which point it's 88% accurate, with a damage of, what would you say, on average about 70. That's fucking insane. This is this is madness. What What the hell have we done? Okay, well, he's doing pretty well, obviously, getting through the other research there. We're currently heading towards cosmic super weapons, so I hate to say it, but that master world weapon is probably not going to be long for this world. Speaking of people who aren't going to be long for this world, let's get to work. I think I've got everything I want for for Rogan. Uh, we've got the... Co oh, I accidentally built two coagulators. We've got the Stone Skin Gland now, which is something we didn't have access to before. Healing Enhancement, it's Immuno Enhancers. We could install rifles on him as well. I feel like power arms are a bit more on brand, like I said. Um... What do we start then? Pain stopper? Painkiller ribs. To be honest, lowering his pain might be good, so he just constantly fights until he dies. I wouldn't want him to die, though. Healing enhancer, gastroanalyzer in the nose. Probably not so necessary in hindsight. Exoskeleton suit and an endoskeleton simulator is pretty good. I'm just going to install them all. And then some things I assume will be uninstalled, at which point we can kind of decide after that stage what we want to keep and what we want to dump. Coagulator? Fine. Good idea. Um, Sleep less. I guess that's not really so relevant for an attack ape. Um, Burning Tibia's Bionic. Uh, so the auxiliary AI for um, combat would be really good. That's one of the few things from expanded prosthetics and organ engineering we probably want. So we'll have to bear that one in mind. The two architect shoulders, the two architect legs, and then the other things are going to be uh, components, obviously. The AI chip, that's just a straight up bonus to consciousness, correct? Uh, yeah, 100% consciousness. But it doesn't, it obviously doesn't add any extra to it. You don't get to 200% consciousness. It just means that if you're brain dead, you can kind of resurrect people, inverted commas. Um, and adrenaline rid, of course, for our coked up chimp. Now, it used to be the case that you can only install one adrenaline rib, but they've they've made it so it's rib cage. It used to be quite literally left rib one through four, and then right rib one through four. And now it just seems like it's it's just a straight up bonus. Each one used to give plus five percent. What does it give now? Plus five percent. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so that that's had a bit of a nerf, but to be fair, it was pretty fucking OP before. Now we've got level five ER bots now. Which I assume is going to be the thing doing the surgery. I'm going to keep a close eye and make sure that we haven't got any other weaker ER bots. Obviously, we've got one in the prison. Which, if he starts coming over to the operation, I will, um... Actually, let's just go ahead and preemptively deactivate that, I think. He's only using herbal medicine. That's not good. I mean, it is a high quality... But bear in mind, it, it, I mean, it's a, it's an ER bot at the end of the day. What about the Cosmic Weave Animal Beds? I give 107. That's a shame. Multiplier for Lightroom Cleanliness. 
So we could reinstall this bed into a different room. I should really put down some tiles. Out of all the rooms to have not put down the sterile tiles. And that was a bit of a silly idea. Now, I don't know if the Glitternet bed attachers count as... Like this one here, the medical integrator can connect up to animal beds. I'll give it a go. Because obviously, how else are you supposed to operate on an animal? We'll go ahead and get that installed before we let this surgery con continue. Damn it. Well, it doesn't connect, unfortunately. So now we're going to have to hope that Rogan can go through the surgery with only a tier 5 anti-logic medical bot and the finest glitter net. Oh, it's actually going all right. Okay, fine. Uh, we had complications with the brain stopper. We've had complications with the endoskeleton stimulator. He's got an exoskeleton suit and an endoskeleton stimulator. That's pretty fun. Uh, so I, I made sure to install the healing enhancer before a lot of the other things in case of surgery complications. In case it fails, we can we can get him healed up a little bit quicker there. I'm just gonna let the robot go at it. I think he's doing a he's doing a pretty fine job. Let's do an output port as well for medicine in this room, save him having to run back and forth to wherever that glistenet medicine, sorry, the glitter tech medicine is ending up. I'm gonna make some alterations to the bills as well to have them not pause ever. But lower the maximum amount that we're going to keep in storage at any one time. So it used to be set up that we were mining 2,000, unpausing at 800. But now that we've got so many machines, to be fair, we could drop that down to just 800 now, uh, maximum. But then have it never pause. That way, we haven't got so much permanent colony wealth. Granted, we did just build something like 20 deep drills, so that might fuck that up a little bit. But it will be a bit more effective at ensuring that we've always got enough gold on tap at all times. How's my special little man doing? Uh, he's got the... Coagulator installed. We've got the architect shoulder is now installed and ready to go. Uh, pain stopper complication moderate. How does that work? It's up 42%, but he has 9% immunity. Last time we saw complication, as far as I know, the complication only increases whilst it's untended. You can see that that hasn't changed at all. That So that should be fine. Let's go ahead and make the power arms, because that's now ready to go. Um, so we want to make power, uh, advanced power arms, I believe they're called. Let's just type in arm, I guess, because we have to make the modules as well, aren't we? So advanced power arm module requires, I assume, a power arm. Uh, 40 uranium, 8 advanced components, and 1 advanced power arm. This is so fucking expensive, isn't it? My god. Um, do, do that one twice. But then do that one until we've got to. This is so fucked up. Replace skin with rhino hide. Replace blood with hyperclot. Fine. Now, these are the networked things, right? So if I don't have a packet router nearby and we replace his blood with blood that requires machinery that we don't have, will he just straight up die? We've also got stone skin gland there as well. I'm not sure that would be compatible with the rhino skin. I think the stone skin gland, in my opinion, would be better. Oh my god, we can also rip out his nervous system. Perfect. Uh, is there anything else I want to give to the monkey? I think he's good. I think he's in a good place right now. Immuno enhancers obviously would be quite nice as well. Um, combat optimization implant. Yep. That'll do it. Install brain cells? Install brain? <laughs> huh. Don't don't question it. Just don't fucking question it at this point. Huh? Okay, there we go. And then we've also got the animal implants as well. Now, I was told that we need to get a breeding pair of thrombos to... Basically facilitate producing more of those implants because thrombogenes can be transmuted into any form as far as I know. So we, we have vaguely fiddled with that in the past with the with the, with the gene therapy and, and extracting certain ones from certain animals. It was like many, many series ago. It's probably about this time last year. So I don't really remember how it works. We'll have to we'll have to keep an eye on that one. For the time being, let's just focus on what we've got. Let's this guy let's get this guy fully upgraded. There are some other components too I've got these guys working on, like the clavicles for melee weapon platforms. So these things offer... Oh, my, I have to find it now, aren't I? But the bonuses that this thing gives is absolutely insane. Come with everything else. This guy is going to be Sharamus 2.0. Genuinely is. 3% manipulation. He gives a 20 to melee dodge chance and a 30 to melee hit chance. Oh, so when it's disconnected, it just doesn't do anything. Disconnected, bleeding wound, heal rate plus zero. Right, so let's get down a packet router in here and then see what the actual bonuses this thing offers are. I think we just install it like that, right? Oh, fuck. Those ones aren't even connected, you moron. I've I've wasted so much time. None of them are connected for fuck's sake. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Um let's go down a packet router then just kind of somewhere convenient. Uh how about right there? How about we just stick it right in the middle of the room? Oh shit. Oh, it's done. Happy birthday to Robo Mummy 2.0. The newcomers of this state of existence will be mesmerized by the beauty of life that won't mind the downs of it for a long time. What? As newcomers to this state of existence, they will be mesmerized by the beauty of life and won't mind the downs of it for a long time. Oh, so you're saying because they have, they basically have like the optimistic 
uh, need, right? Oh, created. There you are. Got it. I see. Um, wow, there she is. Look at this shit. Okay. Um, welcome. So what did, what did we give you again? Love and mentality. Agile fucking... My God. Agile physique plus steel skin. Fighter module. Medical agricultural science. Crafted construction diplomacy. A vanimetric power cell. A mechanite hive. Black box. Got to be careful of that one. Psychic attunement. Oh, interesting. Uh, does that mean... Does that mean that all those psychic trainers I've been saving up as a contingency plan for Robo Daddy, we could actually give it to her? Psychic attunement. Um... Just gives psychic sensitivity plus 100%. I assume she wouldn't have any, though. So if we find... Uh, if we get one of those fancy trees... Oh, obviously she doesn't have a tribal backstory on account of her being a fucking android. If we were to somehow get a psychic... Um, one of the psychic implants from the Empire, that could work. We might need to make enemies with the Empire to... to... Why have I not done that? Hang on. Factions. Empire. 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 Empire of Eternity. Neutral. Can I send them a message telling them to go fuck themselves? Hang on. Um, Robo Daddy. Call the Empire of Eternity. Oh, that's it. Damn it. How can we make them our enemies? I could mortar them. We could we could shell them with artillery. And then when they raid us, we could hopefully extract their psychic amplifiers from their brain and give it to Robo Mummy. And hopefully make her a psychic character that we could then use all of those psychic things we picked up. Make her the ultimate combat droid. I'm in. Hacker voice. Okay, good shit. How are we doing with the cosmic armor, by the way? Are we close to... Oh, it's almost done. Yeah, cosmic power armor. There we go. That's, bear in mind, that's the same as what he's got right now. But beyond that, there's another tier. Project Charon, which is the really insane armor. We have seen that for sale once before. That's the one that gives just basically unbreakable bonuses too. I'm going to build a repair shelf specifically just to keep the cosmic rifle on. That way, if she ever gets down, if she ever drops it, goes into surgery, whatever, it will automatically, automatically be taken to this thing so that we can find it a lot easier than having to... Obviously, sift through the server. Speaking of sift through the server, ah, oh, fuck, have I had this clogged up again? Bollocks. I redid all of these bills recently to stop them breaking up any cosmic weapons or armor for obvious reasons. Um, turns out that kind of backfired a little bit because I forgot to add stone chunks back onto that. There we are. Okay. How are we looking on the stacks in our server now? 246 out of 700. That's a lot better. That's definitely a step in the right direction. Now, I also want to check out the other thing that we built recently. The other cosmic, what was it called? Like a cosmic, I made that stupid joke. What the fuck did I say? Cosmic draw. That was it. Um, all right. Production, production, production. Cosmic draw. There we are. Is it slightly larger? No, no, it is not. Can we also build that one out of cosmic? We can't. We can't build that one out of cosmic alloy, I'm afraid. Let's go and get a couple of those down to them. Power arms are being built, but even with all these crazy work speed bonuses, bear in mind, these are now connected up to the grid with a level five crafter bot. It's still... It's still going to take a very, very, very long time. What do you install them right now? Oh, combat optimization implant. This guy is just constantly... <laughs> constantly under the knife. Fucking poor Rogan. Rogan? It's going to take him weeks to recover from this. This is mad. Okay. Um, so we've already got that one being installed right now. This is a bad menu to go by. Bear in mind that the dubs menus take a little bit longer to... Uh, it takes a little bit longer to update than the base game one. So we've got that one installed already. Okay. Architect sternum. We'll worry about specific body part implants after we've got the legs and the arms dealt with. Because then I'll actually need to do some numbers on, on what are the best combination here. I think we need a network expansion. Yeah, we do. So I've just put down the packet route. We need the cybernet access port next. Then we'll start seeing a bigger, an even bigger drain with all of his implants coming online. So we get a couple more of these down. Oh, fucking hell. It's another 240 gold per... Oh, god damn. This is gonna... What's our... Good? I dread to even look at our colony wealth at this stage, to be honest with you. Uh, go on. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. What are we up to? Is that 4.1 million? It is. Fuck me. This this is the most expensive base we've ever built. Out of everything. We're never going to have a mod pack this overpowered again, I think. Um, It's fun just to obviously do it once over, but my god. Next series, I want to get back to the gritty room world, because this is... This is just pure madness. It's just insane. Draw cosmic matter. Oh. Oh, that's why. That's why you, you can't build out of cosmic alloy. Because it doesn't require any ingredients. You just draw this thing. Oh, interesting. Um, Created at the call of the cosmos in cosmic draw. Okay. I guess we'll just go for 100 then. I don't, I don't really know what this is about. I don't know how long it will take. Let's go and get Robo Daddy just to give it a go. Put the research on pauses for a second. What is that like? 
But it's cosmic matter. Wow, it does take a while. Fair enough. Okay. I'm hoping the robots can do that. Otherwise, it's going to take our guy just decades. Hang on, we can... Oh, thank God we can handle all the animals. Top priority. Handle, train. That's fine. We'll start training her. If, if we could get a neuro trainer for animal handling, that would be fantastic. Or just the animal skill in general. Let's go ahead and put... I think butchering animals, sorcering animals, sorry, does give... Oh, fuck. Does give some bonuses in that regards. Oh, my God. They've been breeding like... I was going to say like rabbits there. Uh, This is... This is madness. This is just pure fucking madness. What the fuck is that about? What? <laughs> um. What? Why are the animals all taking damage? What the hell's going on? Um. This is very strange. This is this is very weird. Uh. Right. Okay. 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 Hang on. Don't panic. This is fine. Maybe I overloaded it with too many drills. That's another 80,000 watts. Surely that's not enough, though. This is weird. I don't know what the hell has caused this massive power drain all of a sudden. The animals all seem to be dying, so I can't even notice that. What the fuck is going on in there? What's going on? This is this is weird. Acid burn. Acid... Why... What? The animals are all being... <laughs> acidified? Oh, for fuck's sake. This is a complete mess. Oh, the power's back on, though. What's the grid looking like? Grid excess of... Minus 21,000. Okay. It's definitely got to be these drills, right? I can't believe that. I can't believe we've managed to overload the grid with, with too many drills. It's got to be these things. Uh, fucking what? <laughs> 100,000 watts apiece? Right, okay. It just suddenly hit me. I was like, I haven't built anything new besides... Ah. Yeah, the cosmic matter. And there was me. I, I quite literally said earlier in this episode, we haven't got anything that turns energy into matter. That's where you're wrong, kid. That's where you're wrong. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and enable basic for you then. Um, f flick that. G give me give me a flick, brother. Give me, give me a flick on that one too. And then you can fuck off as well. Well, I guess we'll need some more cosmic reactors before I'm... Before we can really re-enable that once it's coming back online. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're 200,000 watts of Nexus. We could turn one of them on, to be fair. Let's do a final check on Rogan. Then I've definitely got to end this episode here because I've gotten I've gotten too deep into the <laughs> into the gorilla. Oh no! Should have rephrased that one. Uh, it's it's insane. I thought Sharimus was complex, but this guy is a, is a different kettle of fish entirely. Pain stoppers, co combat optimizers, love enhancers, healing enhancers, endo and exoskeleton suits. We've got coagulators, stone skin glands. Did that work with the rhino skin? Uh, it did. We've got stone skin and below that rhino skin. Or maybe a combination of both. We've got new nervous systems, new blood for him. I'm so sorry, little Rogan. Rogan? What have I done? Thank you all for watching. We'll leave that one there for today. And I can see if I can edit this into something that isn't in a complete clusterfuck of gorilla-based surgery. Thank you to Arctic, Icelandic Wolf, Gogolus, Vacuous Bacchus, My Name Isn't Dio, Bobka, Shay, Scared Blueberry, Facundo Vasquez, Don of Bones, Crow Skull, Ton Oster, Leo, Rage Dragon, and everyone else, of course, at the Insane Tale Lovers on Patreon for making this animal cruelty possible in the first place. Big thank you to you guys. And a thank you as well to Galaxy Wolf 7, Mythomatic, Blood for the Blood God, Grey, Pantherpel, Empty Machine, Emerald Beam, Tentacle Beast, Loves Trees, Caron24, Moira Valkyrie, Jackson P, Jacob Wolfie, Blood Riot, Marek Throndrog, and everyone else at Patreon as well for making this possible. Tomorrow, we continue with, I don't know, the second quarter of our gorilla-based experiments.